Hey guys and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to install mods for Arma 2 OA combined operations or just OA in general for non-Steam users. So people that have the game but it's not through Steam. I found it kind of hard to find a video on YouTube. Um, there is one but it's super annoying, the fucking annoying ass music and it's all text so you gotta read everything. I figured it'd be easier for you to make a quick video and you can just listen to what I'm saying. So you have your game, you have your desktop shortcut um, that starts Arma 2 or OA. Like this is referring to both of them, so it works either or. And you're not sure where your Arma 2 directory is. Okay, so you have your mods. Um, and it's ready to go. Uh, if you're not sure how to open your mods, you should use WinRAR or 7-Zip. And go ahead and drag it onto your desktop. And then once you do that, right click on your desktop shortcut and then open file location now as soon as this opens this is considered your Arma 2 directory this is where all your mods and everything should go and that's basically it I mean it all your mods will be dragged and dropped into this location um, and then they'll start slowly lining up as you can see all my mods have um, alphabetical order and then that's it there's nothing else really to it if you're not entirely sure on how the mod goes then a mod consists of uh, about three folders. You have the actual mod name, mod folder, and inside that folder you're going to have an add-ons and a keys folder. And like I said, if you got a mod and it just is the files like this, you have your buy sign and your PBO, and you're like, okay, what the heck, what am I supposed to do? Very easy, very easy. All you have to do is make a new folder, and we'll name it whatever, uh, example. Sorry. Example, that's our mod name. Now, the first thing that's important about these mods, make sure you have the add symbol. If you don't have the add symbol, the game's not going to understand or it's not going to register that, oh, this is a mod. Uh, I better do something about this. It's just not going to pick up in game at all. So, first things first, make sure you have that add symbol. And then you can name it whatever you want. I always name them something that helps me understand or remember what kind of mod it is. Because sometimes the author is naming some funky names and you're like, what the hell is that? I've had over 200 mods at one point. I just named them whatever the author named them. And it was really hard to find or even look for the mod. So I always find it's best to name it something that you'll remember what it is. So once you got that done, you want to open that folder up and you want to make a new folder. Two, preferably. One's going to be your add-ons folder. So go ahead and make a new folder called add-ons and then make a new folder again right next to the add-ons folder and call it keys. Now all your PBOs and your buy signs will go into your add-ons folder. And then all your buy keys, like so, anything that says buy key, and don't be alarmed if your mod doesn't have a buy key, that's normal. Some mods don't, some do. Um, but your buy keys all go into your keys folder. So just do that. Um, I've also seen people that make add-ons and they don't even make a keys folder and they just leave the buy keys out with the readme file and that's it that's your whole mod folder ready to go then like I said you just drag and drop it into your area like so and it's ready to go um, once you get into the game the start menu you're, you're, you're probably wondering what do I do now you just go to your options or your expansions and then click on that and then enable all the mods from there it's going to ask you to restart your game once you restart your game your mods are going to be enabled and ready to play so you either jump on a server that has the mod and you'll see it in there or you go into the editor and you look for it under the parameters in there so i hope this video helped you guys and i hope it was very easy to understand um, if you like the video please like and subscribe for more tutorials regarding anything arma um, if you dislike it, please dislike by all means. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.